and welcome. Today we will take a first look at Avastar, our Blender add-on for animation and rigging. Avastar is a character creation tool for Second Life. The product is made for creating high-quality characters and garments, handmade animations, and it even allows to import and adjust ready-made motion captures. If you have not yet installed Avastar on your computer, then please do this now. You can get the add-on from the Jazz Shop in Second Life, or from the Machinimetrix website. Okay, let me start with a short overview. So let's clean up the screen as usual. And then add a new Avastar character. Navigate to, Add, Avastar. A new default mesh character appears. This character is ready made for animation, it is fully weighted, and it is already connected to a rig. The rig appears in a bright orange color, and most of the visible elements are bone movement controllers. The character is an exact replica of the Second Life default shape. It is generated with eyelashes and eyes, with hair, and also with a skirt. At this moment the hair and the skirt are not displayed. Let's select the rig by using the right mouse button. And then go to pose mode. Now you can find the visual controls for the Avastar meshes in the Object Data Properties tab, of the Properties window. Then scroll down to the section named, Rig Display. Here, we can control which mesh parts of the Avastar character are displayed, while we create our custom meshes and our animations. For example, we can enable the visibility of the skirt and hair wig, both of which are hidden by default. Also, we see the Avastar character is split into three major parts, the head, the upper body, and the lower body. The Rig Display section also contains a panel for displaying the various bone sets of the Avastar character. These are, the Animation Control Bones, the Second Life Base Bones, the Fitted Mesh Bones, the Attachment Points, and the Eye Target Bone. We also support facial animations. The related sliders are in the Object Properties section, at the bottom, in the Expressions panel. However, this facial animation system is currently not available for Second Life animations, so, although the face morphs are fully supported by Avastar, this feature is only interesting when you want to render your animations in Blender. One of the most important features of Avastar is its appearance editor. These visual controls of the Avastar shape are located directly above the expressions panel, in the section named, Avatar Shape. Here, you find all sliders for editing all parts of the Avastar shape, organized very similar to the appearance editor in the Second Life viewer. You actually can change the shape properties of the Avastar character, exactly in the same way, as you can do with the corresponding appearance settings of the shape editor in Second Life. You can also switch the shape from female to male. Finally you can even download your current shape from your Second Life viewer, and then use this shape as a dummy for your animations. But Avastar is not only good for making animations, it is also good for making your own garments, or even for creating complete new mesh characters. The most important feature for making custom meshes is Avastar's ability to simulate, how your custom meshes will react in Second Life when you modify the avatar appearance.
and this simulation works for meshes rigged to the second life skeleton bones, as well as for meshes rigged to the new fitted mesh bones, or any combination of both. To complete the feature set, we have also added tools for making it easy to switch between classic rigging and fitted mesh rigging. In summary, Avastar is a tool for creating characters and character attachments, and animations, it is suitable for second life and similar environments. Avastar also contains a simulation of the second life animation system that allows you to test your mesh creations before you export them to the target system. I hope that this video could help you to decide, if Avastar is worth a try. Thanks for watching.